Welcome to programming again. This is video number five. I'll show you how to make a simple game engine in Java. Uh, first off, I'll start the Java class library project. Name it um, game engine. And I'll create a package. Call it out. Um, game that engine with the following class the following classes the first I will have to make game application in the game ap application we we'll just have one um, static method call start which will take a instead of a game and start a J frame from a game instant I need to import the J frame and set the dimension of the frame by getting the width and the height from the game instant after that I'll set um, default close operation to exit on frame then we'll add something to display game content which we'll call it uh, canvas it would have to be game canvas the game canvas need to know it would just simply um, hand in the graphic instant into the game drawing method so this is the generic constructor we'll add the canvas into the frame and finally we'll set visible to true to show the frame um, this will show a static image of the canvas we'll wanna start looping updating the game and then uh, having the game to redraw itself by creating a game loop instant which will take in game instant and uh, canvas in instant the loop will start at separate thread and then looping to the game looping through the game and will stop when the game is over so the basic game loop is the following the game loop will extend from the thread and it will take in game and the canvas because it's a thread then we'll override the run method um, we'll finish the run method later we'll just fix this error errors right here which is uh, to create a new class called a game class create a new class called game canvas finished a game canvas needs to need to be able to redraw uh, repaint itself which will make it a J component
and it will basically have an instant of the game which is a field in here whenever it wanna repaint it will just call the paint component with that which will take supply the graphic instant for drawing it doesn't know anything about the game so um, the drawing stuff goes to the game and in order to for the game to intercept the event and stuff we'll have the key listener and possibly mount listener listen and mouse motion listener and we want to be able to focus so uh, focus this and there are plenty of errors in here one is that um, the game ne need to be key listener mouse listener and mo mouse motion listener we'll do that by simply implement key listener mount listener and everything else that is needed and uh, import all of that or simply control shift i now there are still some errors which is to implement all the abstract method i will search for troll and then delete the line that is it for our game right now the game canvas should be okay except for the draw method um, I have this um, in order to fix the errors in, in line number 28 that is it for the um, game canvas now back to game loop. The game loop will still having this error which is can be fixed very easily by creating a field named game and canvas. In the game loop they are simply just calling the initialization of the game and why the game is not over we'll have the game update itself and call repaint before we can go to sleep with the delay amount specified in the game So, in the game class, we'll need to have the following method inside. And the first one is um, in it. Second one is um, update. Next one is um, is over. We'll simply just um, create a protected uh, 
attribute call over the initial initialization is just to set this into false and the update need to be extract need to be overridden by the game subclass I will force the draw method into an abstract method also and put them together now the game class need because because the game class contain abstract method it needs it need to be declared so to be an abstract class and there you go the game class is okay except for one method which is We'll do do it this, this way because um, subclass can set the delay into um, other value besides uh, thirty. If you want, if the subclass wants to, and um, this should be fine, except for the unreported exception owner will fix that by surrounding the statement by try and catch uh, we now done with the game game canvas for the game application we do need the get width get title and get height so we'll simply have a again protected attribute Call width and height, which will then have um. Now we should be okay. One more method to go, which is get title. Uh, initialize into Now initialization should be. Um, I'm gonna make this abstract also. Um, so I'll put them in here. And uh, the default. I just put it in. Inline, so the default title is my game. This should make this one okay. Nope, I uh, still need the um. still need the um, get title okay th this is it for uh, the game simple game uh, game engine all right uh, next video I'll show you how to use this to make a game thank you for